Hi, my name is Ravi Kumarty, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVT Bangalore. So today I'm here to explain the uh, projection of solids problem number one. How to solve the problem number one? So first of all, uh, we have to analyze the problem care carefully. See, so square prism, 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edge of the base means the resting side is edge condition okay so draw the projection of the prism when axis is inclined to hp at 45 degree and head is inclined to hp vp at 30 degree so this is not a with, uh, without locus problem because the head of the base is inclined to vp at 30 degree so uh, axis inclined to hp at 45 degree and here uh, one more thing you have to be careful the resting condition so okay resting condition so in the plane we'll take it towards left hand side and in solid will take towards right hand side to avoid a confusion that's it okay so similar way see xy line next so uh, first thing is rest on hedge hp edge condition as i told earlier edge condition see this is the edge condition okay what is the second uh, important thing so second important thing is axis 45 degree to hp okay so this is the axis 45 degree to HP. Next third important condition is base edge means this is a base edge. Okay, so this base edge is inclined to this base edge is inclined to uh, 30 degree to VP. Okay, so that is the thing. So next, next is uh, you know uh, I wanted to do uh, you know uh, if you're looking in the square prism, if you're looking from top of an object, it looked like a square. Okay, so square uh, it means uh, there are two things. One is a top uh, face and bottom face. These two faces are joined with the help of rectangular faces. Okay, so uh, here the top face will name it in A, B, C, D. Bottom face will name it as A1, B1, C1, and D1. And similarly, O, O1. Here I have considered square prism 35 mm. It is a top view of an object. Okay, so top view of an object. Next is what you have to draw. Uh, projection line towards up to a xy line okay so next i have to consider 35 60 mm axis length okay 60 mm axis length then with the help of this i have to take you know the rectangle box okay 60 mm rectangle box so next see if you uh, observe here if you do the naming here see if you're looking from bottom of an object only a1 is visible but B1 is invisible. So that's why A1 dash is visible. B1 is invisible. Next, here D1 is visible. One second. Okay, D1 is visible, but C1 is invisible. If you're looking from top or bottom of an object. So that is what? C1 is invisible and D1 is visible. Similarly, A is visible, B is visible, and C is invisible and D is visible. So this is what the uh, naming, this is the first position. Okay. This is the first position. What is the second position? Axis inclined to 45 degree to HP. See, this is the axis. Okay, this inclined to 45 degree to HP. So, construct to construct this, I have to consider a base angle. Okay, so manual construction. I have to consider base angle. Then I have to construct it faster. Okay, so for uh, for drawing in manual, you know, uh, in the computer drawing, I'll take this uh, point and I'll place here. I'll just rotate. Okay, I'll rotate to a 45 degree. So this is a second position. So the, the, the naming is completely rotated. Okay, so next is O1. Okay, so after that, I'll just draw vertically down projection line. I'll draw, okay, I'll draw projection line. So here, very important thing is, you have to draw, you know, uh, uh, visible and invisible thing. You have to find out visible and invisible thing. See, if you're looking from top of an object, if you're looking from top of an object, this complete face is visible, means this is top face. The top face is completely visible. So now I have to draw this top face with the help of visible edges. Okay, so all outer edges are visible. You can observe all outer edges are visible. And if looking from top of an object, the top face is visible. Which one is the invisible thing? So this point is an invisible point. Means that is A1 dash and B1 dash is an invisible point. So that will represent in terms of invisible line. Okay, so this is an invisible line. Okay, now. So this is invisible line. So B1 and A1 is an invisible line. This is a second position. What is a third position? Third position is 
as I uh, mentioned in the problem, edge of the base is inclined to VP. So which is the resting edge? If B1 and A1 is the resting edge. This is inclined to VP at 30 degree. So this you can you know place on the 30 degree inclination line. Okay. So 30 degree inclination line you can place it very clear. So this is how you placed and the naming is you know and the you will get the naming then you can draw uh, you know you can draw first yeah you can draw a projection line upward okay so if you draw projection line upward if you are looking from uh, one second yeah if this is the thing okay so this is uh, how you can draw yeah if you are looking from bottom of an object this face is completely visible mean bottom face is completely visible that is a1 b1 c1 d1 is visible so similar way see this is a1 b1 c1 d1 is visible and before doing that you have to draw all outer edges means from year to year year to year then year to year then year to year year to year so all these outer edges are visible first you have to do that after that if you're looking from bottom of an object bottom face visible that you can make it visible which is an invisible point so b this b is an invisible point means this is an invisible point so to join visible and invisible edges so with the help of invisible that's it see this is a invisible and this is a visible we'll use invisible edges and this is a invisible this is a visible we'll use invisible edges so this is how you can complete the problem okay so this is how you can complete the uh, uh, no, problems and here read the things is very easy to very important to analyze invisible and visible edges okay so similar one second i'll repeat if you're looking from bottom of an object so bottom face is visible and the top face means b is invisible so joining from b to any other point with the help of invisible lines okay because joining between visible point to invisible point with the help of invisible lines okay so this is how you can solve the solve the problems okay thank you this is the first problems in the second you know, pro problems on pro solids okay so this is very important is edge of the base is inclined to be at 30 degree okay thank you